We have mentioned in the past, uh, Jim Brewer took a little, you know, revived his career. Although I have to say the revival didn't seem too sustained, but uh, maybe it is. I don't know. Um, He did a comedy special last month um, and he put it on YouTube. Is that right, guys? Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. It was a free comedy. Was it free or? Yeah, it was. It was. It, it, he has a Patreon, but this went out free. This is like an. You hour should probably. It's, you should probably tell people that he was considered to be one of the foremost political comedians of his day. On Saturday Night Live, he did a lot. He wrote a lot of the political skits. No, he did not. Oh, <laughs> he did Goat not. Boy. He did Goat Boy. He did Goat, Goat Boy. Boy. He did Goat okay. Boy. Um, and played the super high guy. In half baked, which was right? hilarious. When I love Dave that. Chappelle well. wasn't anti trans, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Simpler um, times, yeah. Simpler times. Here is uh, his uh, comedy special. Somebody had to say it because <laughs> apparently, in his mind, nobody's saying it. But here is, uh, you know, let's play. Let, I don't know. Let's, let's just play the just let's, we're gonna start in, with the opening, we're gonna start yeah. with what he opens with, yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you all for um. Coming out and risking your lives. Is there, there's still people going, you're not really going out in public indoors, are you? Uh, sorry, YouTube ad. Um, okay, so there's a there's an ad. Uh, we'll play through that. <laughs> But we should say he's, you know, mocking uh, the idea that people would be nervous about COVID. And um, with a funny face, Sam. Emma, he doesn't say that with a very funny, funny face. I know. I can't help but love the guy. It doesn't matter how many millions of people die because they didn't get the virus. That's not important. What's important is that he's a goofy guy and uh, we're going to have a good time tonight. Well, I mean, it just amazes me that uh, you have a million, over a million deaths in this country. You still have, what are we at now, like 380 to 400? Are we, are we over 400 a day now um, in, in, in deaths uh, from COVID? And, you know, I get that people are tired of, of, of you know, wearing a mask, and um, uh, but... It's real. The idea that you're mocking people, I, I still, you know, particularly with this latest wave, we're 438 uh, daily deaths a day. That is uh, six times more than the flu, uh, incidentally. You don't have to sell me, Sam. I haven't left well, a house. It's just so March weird to me. 11th, 2020. All right, let's continue on. He's he's mocking the fact that, that people might be. I mean that's the face though, right? The, this is the this is his only only face. Yeah. Yep. Go deep into the chin. Different than the Jimmy Dorp. <laughs> <laughs> the Delta, oh. the Omega, the Charlie Brown. Uh, stay inside. This is never ending. <laughs> The classic uh, scientists yeah. use funny names for things. <laughs> Charlie Brown. Excellent, excellent point so far. <laughs> How long am I supposed to stay there? Oh, my God. Incidentally, we'll there has not been this. a lockdown in this country for two years. Yeah. No. Well, for the only thing let, can I just say one thing? Because I, I have always despised Lorne Michaels, and I do it every day, and I have an altar and everything. You know, everybody goes, oh, Lorne Michaels, he's the comedy whisperer. Oh, he doesn't know a goddamn thing. I'm sorry for the language. He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. He wouldn't know comedy if it fell in his soup. He goes out and gets Jim Brewer. He, he puts Jim Brewer on. For what reason? We don't need Saturday Night Live is not the home of Well, I know sometimes. All right, continue. I'm sorry, I'm okay, I'm okay now. Okay. Safe. <laughs> yeah. 
Just to pause it real quick. There's not a country on earth that has more than a million deaths from COVID uh, total th- besides the United States. Hmm. That's what he's celebrating. Why don't you guys get that? He's having a good t- He's going, yes, number one. Well, the vaccinators, you were real cocky a couple months ago. You we got vaccinated. <laughs> Got my second shot, April 19th. I can't get sick from the corona. I'm vaccinated. See this is like my bitch. I'm vaccinated. I'll even lick metal. I am not afraid of anything. Uh, this is so true. Never came from FOMO. Never did come from licking metal. So I don't have that's to wear a mask. Uh, people vaccinated are getting sick. What? <laughs> you need a new booster. What? There's that face again. <laughs> Who wants a shot? Who wants to see a ball game? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, it's a cockatoo. <laughs> That's a walrus. Oh, he's not really Sorry. saying anything. Right? No, he's not. He's not saying anything except for he's saying, like, it turned out, like, this, um, the uh, virus is still dangerous. Right. Right. Yeah. So he, what is his, you know, it's unbelievable to me. Like, the other day, I was, uh, 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 it's got the sub variants getting big here in Los Angeles, and I had to go into a store. It's like, oh, I'll, I'll put my mask on. Oh, and then when the sub variant isn't around, I'll take my mask off in certain certain, certain situations. Oh, I, I can't even so believe. Classic. I can't even believe we live in this. This just can't be happening that we live in this country like this. I I, I mean the it, what's also interesting is like where's all the all the horrors from the vaccine? Yeah, like the, all the cost associated with people getting vaccinated. What happened to all that? Like, wasn't the like. Wouldn't there have been now, according to all these people, just a huge amount of like horror stories about vaccines? What happened? Uh, yeah, exactly. And none of it. They've all abandoned that. Gone. It's mostly you, just now the vaccine doesn't work. How arrogant were you? Were you they? You said that it would be a silver bullet and COVID would go away as soon as everyone yeah. got vaccinated, and no one said that. And we have to say, like, the vaccine does work in the sense that you get less sick if you have it. Yes, it reduces Do, symptoms and spread. Can we? Oh, you well, have well, to. You have to get vaccinated. Uh, don't be on the fence about it, everybody. <laughs> can we play a clip? It's it's from- science and stuff. Can we play a clip from the uh, the the comedians out there who are uh, doing that huge riff on all the idiots who said that the uh, vaccine <laughs> was going to was Ooh. going to uh, hurt? Like, can we play a clip from that comedian? Yeah. Ooh. No. No. All right. Mm. Let's go. Let's keep Ooh, going. Ooh, I've been. Va- Ooh, I, I guess I'm safe now because I've been vaccinated. Do Ooh, we, now do I've we been want boosted. more? Do we want more COVID bit or more about him talking about like, get people getting offended? Yeah, I think we, we move to the offense. Uh, part I, he, yeah, let's move. He's yeah. already milked all his COVID material. Yeah, let's go milk. <laughs> if anything, life taught me the last two years is we don't know anything what's around the corner. You make all the plans you want. You get a bit of CO. Your jobs are shut down. We have no clue. <laughs> How quick life just goes, bloop, which made me crazy how many people they would put on the screen and media are getting offended. Everyone's offended. I'm offended by this, and I'm offended by that. <laughs> I'll pause it, one second, pause it. Don't uh, keep us up on the screen. I'm just, uh, uh, Andy, you're a professional comedian. How <laughs> does, how does you not knowing what life is going to bring next segue into into uh, people are getting offended on tv How is that, like what i think uh i would think that and seriously I, i've seen uh, jim brewer perform in, uh, way back in the great clubs on long island in the late 80s that sam and i used to headline at no oh, and I uh he does not seriously and i and i mean this it wouldn't matter that he it's like he's not you know there's so many people in this world who are now willfully stupid so it's like, I don't think he's a stupid person, but he is willfully stupid about these things. And so he 
he, he's basically doing the same act that he's been doing forever. And he's probably just angry about ticket sales and stuff. Well, like. another like word for another word for angry is offended. <laughs> Do this. <Yeah. laughs> All right, continue. And blip. <laughs> Yeah, I think I he got born. pissed. I sort of feel like he also sort of abandoned like the the the, the slow segue when he realized like him going like hey, the world changes just like blip and nobody <laughs> laughed at his funny noise and so he said ah oh, fuck it let's just go to the offended part let's go. You make all the plans you want. You get a bit of CEO. Your jobs are shut down. We have no clue how quick life just goes. Blip! Which made me crazy how many people they would put on the screen immediately are getting offended. Everyone's offended. I'm offended by this, and I'm offended by that, and I want to talk about that, and I want to talk about that. And if you're that person, listen, man, life is offensive, okay? My wife's been battling cancer for 12 years from food that she gets poisoned with that they feed us. That's offensive. We can't see the elderly because we may kill them, even though they got six days to live. We'll see you one day, Grandma. Stay behind the glass. I feel much better with no human contact. Thank you, Dr. Fauci and CDC. And fear. <laughs> Thank you. I bet you she'd rather have that touch and hug and be dead tomorrow than do this for her. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He got one touch or hug. <laughs> I didn't get that one. You don't, I don't get the do pick the and choose oh, No, offense. no. It, the joke was she would rather have a, some touch or hug um, and I then know, die I the know. next day. And then die of COVID, unable to breathe. <laughs> classic, classic joke premise uh, structure. But you know what? It's, it's literally just like, it's, it's literally just like he's, using all the sort of pretense of comedy just to deliver the same lines that like Rush Limbaugh would have yeah. delivered. Yeah. Or, you know, or you know Greg what Abbott. Is, I feel bad. I feel bad because I know like I've been, uh, I was just, I gave a speech in that Montreal thing. Uh, it's a whole story. But so I was looking around to talk, uh, uh, you know, to talk about him. And I know that his wife, you know, I feel bad. I feel terrible. His wife is sick. She has been sick for 12 years, but to take, but, it doesn't, but the, the but the bigger point, yes, I feel bad about that. But then he goes back to giving people information that could kill them. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. People will die. People will die from his show because like, he, uh, his family members or whoever they don't believe you can get a variant. They're not vaxxed. They're not so. It, so the, it, it's really more horrible that he is bringing his own family into it on that level you know but i don't think he's asking for sympathy but it just makes me angry yeah i mean that's a problem for the cdc and the fda right and instead we're we're fear-mongering against all those people as if they're trying to control us with fake vaccines um the uh, yeah. in my mind i just say like it's quite possible that uh brewer could be on a show right now uh like this with a panel mocking a comedian who is saying like cancer's not real <laughs> come on <laughs> cancer's not real like uh you know go get uh, some uh you know all you need to do right. is just uh, drink wine and <laughs> yeah. if you drank wine you would be getting all you needed the enzymes to fight cancer like and he I'm could no, be sitting there mocking them. I mean, I'm so listening that's, to this, this podcast about it's called Twin Flames about these people got fooled into thinking they could uh, find their soulmate on uh, you know through uh, through um, you know through online dating or whatever. I don't wait, know what, what? I was. What? Well, I just I just I just faced out again. Go ahead. That's take not it away. true. Oh no, you can you can, but I, I don't know okay, where my point okay. was again. Okay. I have to. I'm Whew. talking about this more with my therapist, and my mind does go blank. But I, right, I won't belabor. If I think of it, I'll say it. Let's, uh, let's uh, do we have another clip? Yeah, we've got some more of this offensive stuff. Okay. Last week, two Marines, hand to God, came to see me with their knee, no knees, oh. blown off over an Afghan. <laughs> came in wheelchairs, followed me around. We laughed. Just in case you didn't story. know what it is. Uh, <laughs> kind of like. But there's people literally walking around. Here's the thing with being offended. Listen. If you're easily offended, do yourself a favor. It's not healthy. It's not healthy for you. It means your asshole's tight. I mean, this is the worst material I've ever, I've ever seen. It does. This is like 1975 
material. What's the matter with you people? Loosen up out there. You should take a laxative before you come see me. You're so tight in your ass area yeah. out there. I hate this kind of comedy. I hate Long Island. I hate that I was grow, grew up there. I hate Billy Joel. I hate everything. I hate every club I ever. No, actually, Billy Joel's okay. But uh, I mean, not really. But so, but it's just all these guys like it's, 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 it's guys like like Billy Joel and Jim Brewer walk around going, yeah, I'm from Long Island. I got the book of book of book. Yeah. Well, he talks about another thing. Like those those who often say they're offended probably don't like that what we're doing with deploying troops around the world to get their uh, legs, you yeah. know, off. But then he like says, "Well, and I'm offended by that." Well, okay, I'm kind of offended by that too. But then he says, "If you're offended, your butthole's tight." So is Jim Brewer's <laughs> butthole tight when he sees like and also, guys with legs blown off by war? He, right. He's and doing the old bit with a new bit. He's trying to figure out how to get that bit that he's always done into this bit. Ah, ah, that's what it is. That's why we have a pro on, ladies and gentlemen. I can give you the. Uh, We're sitting here that. going like this. Feels like it's shoehorned, and that's because it's <laughs> it shoehorned. Is shoehorned. He's evergreen, Jim Brewer. He's evergreen, so he can he can plug in. This is the same act he did in the seventies, or the eighties, or whenever the hell he was around. Let's uh, um, go ahead. But funny, but, but, but he's got funny offended. ideas. Listen. If you're easily offended, do yourself a favor. It's not healthy. It's not healthy for you. It means your asshole's tight. Yeah, it right. does. And if science is your god, science will tell you that's not good for your physical being. It means you're always stressed up and your ass can't work right. And you just can't wait to go, I can't wait to talk about this subject with my facts and figures that I learned. <laughs> And we see you trying to escape, trying to let gas out. You can't even let gas out. That is so oh, unhealthy no. for you. Oh, no, see? Fart humor. He you wants can't to talk hide about it. fart humor. You can, we can hear it. It sounds like when you blow up a balloon. <laughs> and you know when you let out a little tiny bit of air at a time? Yeah. That's what oh your ass sounds like. Oh, my God, that's exactly like. what's going on here. He's, yeah. he's pigeonholing his old <laughs> fart routine. It's Unbelievable! Oh you, I bet you could God. you could get a film, you could get a camera, you could get a crew, and you could actually see word for word these said that people say. He also word went back to the cockatoo, and that there that? was he's mixing the no. cockatoo and the asshole and the farting and the Fauci. I mean, there's just not a lot yeah. of thematic consistency. And I just want to say, like, yeah. it's elitist to say other people shouldn't share opinions, and that the problem with day, this day and age is too many people are sharing opinions. That's an elitist, anti, -per uh, misanthropic thing to say. Yeah. I love the idea, though, and he's like, God damn it, this fart stuff is just gold, no. <laughs> but how can I get it into uh, my anti-COVID, uh, caring about COVID shit? Oh, I know! Of course! <laughs> they're all uptight, and that's why they're offended, and then I can go into the fart stuff. Beautiful. Well, yeah. Continue. You know, here's the thing. This is the way he does comedy. It's like that. he just does comedy where uh, he's desperate, uh, desperate to get laughs. That's how he built that act. And it's not it's not unusual. Many comics to start out, they're desperate to get laughs. They don't like any uh, silent. If you watch old Robin Williams, anytime there was silence, you go, oh, 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 oh. so th this is what, this is the kind of uh, act that you. So he's so scared. If he hears any quiet at all, he's got to go right back to the farts, right back into the whole. Thing. Yes. Yeah. And that's yeah. His, that's, it's sad. If it was one year in, it would be sad. Now it's right. just a, a, right. a crime against humanity. Right, right. I mean, the, the irony about all of this is that you do get the sense that actually the tightest anus in the entire uh, place is his. He's so worried that uh, that the material is not going to carry it. So that's why he's always making those faces. Continue. It sounds like when you blow up a balloon. <laughs> You know when you let out a little tiny bit of air at a time? That's what your ass sounds like. I am so offended. I'm... Wow. I can tell you the thing Finger doing. what this is based on is everyone loves, we all do this, folks. We all have body functions. We got to talk <laughs> about it. Like everybody, I... like you don't know that you fart. And I, as you, I understand the whole topic. I don't. I, I understand. I yeah. There's nothing. Funny He's a truth about teller. It. The best comedians make you look at something in a whole new way that right. you never thought about before. <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest, like 
Saul would love this. <laughs> right, but that's not, not good. the offended part, though. He'd probably get caught up in like, wait, why is he? He doesn't believe in COVID. How come we know people who have died about COVID? But the fart stuff is funny. All right, continue. <laughs> Stupid. Another ad. Okay. Oh, my God. He really put a lot of ads in there. Hey, it, freedom, but it doesn't come free. <laughs> There's such that a, a special. That's a special. That was. Oh, Brewer yeah. It's a, a special kids, on YouTube. He? Brewer doesn't yeah. have any kids, does he? That I don't know. I have not done a study on him. I get the sense he doesn't because he doesn't seem afraid that anybody's going to see this in the future. <laughs> I used to do his show. I used to do his show back in the 90s. You know, like he, you know, he had a call in show and he was not right. political at all. He just go, Andy, how you doing? Right, a radio, a radio <laughs> show. He had a radio show. This is actually, I think, like in the aughts, not the 90s. Yeah, and. Uh, <laughs> well, I, it wasn't terrible to me because he has he has some pretty, a condition, obviously, with the sounds. <laughs> it's just like Fauci. I mean, there's people out there going, you know, Bob, I'm losing. I'm losing work. I've been watching this new thing on the news, and uh, uh. I, I, I never really thought about it, but I, I've been I've been losing my sleep and taking things out on the family. What's going on? <laughs> you ever see? You ever? You know that toy? Yeah. Which kind? The potato head? Ah, oh, knew it. Ah, oh, right. Oh, Why is it called God. Mr. Potato? I don't know. Wouldn't you have thought about that in the 40s or the 30s? <laughs> Can you imagine just waking up in the middle of the night? I can't take this anymore! Why is it called a Mr. Potato? Yeah, so many people doing this. Yes. <laughs> oh many people God. are saying. Where's my picket sign? I want the world to listen to me. I don't get the potato head. He's working pole. the pole. So pause it. Oh, pause it. Pause it. Okay. First he licked so, the pole and now he's uh, using it as a lance or a I picket sign. I don't know sign? if there was any. I, I never heard of any outcry about Mr. Potato Head. It's just that the business that the, the Mattel or whoever puts out Mr. Potato oh, Head has there was bro. a thing. There was not yes. thing. Said okay. um we shouldn't we should just call it potato head because the literally the whole thing about it is that you can change its gender and its profession and, and all of it. <laughs> yeah. It, it, like that's the that's literally the game that we built. Yeah. Because if you accept that it is just Mr. Potato Head, when you put like the lips on and the big eyelashes, what that you're saying like Mr. Potato Head must be cross dressing as opposed to saying this could just be Mrs. Potato Head now. And then he is he just mentions the controversy. It could have been Dr. Seuss. It could have been anything uh, that the, the right wing has been upset about it, uh, you know, because it's really they're being upset. As opposed to like, it's an imaginary people. like woke person who's uh, insomniac protesting <laughs> about Mr. Potato Head. The Can't only sleep at night. I mean, <laughs> yeah, uh, they've, they've been doing this from the since the seventies, right? They did it with uh, with the NPR, and I mean, but oh, yeah, like everything. in the old days, you used to be. Uh, I, I hated them. I hated when Giuliani did the uh, went to the museum, but at least there was a. A, a, a thing with a piss thing that he got it's yeah. disgusting. This is so who in the world could get agitated about this except maybe Fox News 70 year old people. And then he gets to integrate his entire uh, fart thing. Like, oh, mm. man, I'm going to I could actually stretch this out. This used to be my like seven minute chunk. It's now like my 23 minute chunk. All I got to <laughs> do is like I got to say, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> And then uh, all I got to do is, like, say, uh, Mr. Potato. So what's why is his pinky uh, in and around his asshole? Do we have an that's understanding? A, oh, no, no, no. That's just a uh, it's uh, se chapter 17 of the comedy book. He's indicating <laughs> physically uh, when you when he shows that, then you can almost visualize the fart coming out. Oh, wow. Yeah, the pinky is the distortion.
so Chris and uh, Christopher in Hawaii says Brewer does have kids. I remember seeing him live in Peekskill in New York in 2017 while he was still pretending to be a pothead and riding that half baked fame. Oh, yeah. He had a bit about how his kids were addicted to their phones. Oh, that's a good thing creative. to clock because the pothead thing. I mean, that was why I rented that for sleepovers when I was in fourth grade. Like the pothead thing yeah, character was very funny to like without know, children. Basically. Yeah, <laughs> right. Right. He's, no, he's no, not smoking pot anymore. That does disappoint me. I don't, was he ever a big pot smoker? I think I heard that it was a big phony. Oh, oh, I know. I never saw the movie Half-Baked. Is that with uh, Chappelle? That's and where him? it comes from. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he's, he certainly didn't get any uh, uh, insights from smoking pot. He didn't get any creative <laughs> ideas. No. He wasn't he's, not, terribly... he's not relating to it that way. He doesn't strike me as a pot smoker. I'll say that. He yeah, strikes yeah. me as somebody interested in other kind of substances. I don't know. He, he, he's. I think we, let's not make the uh, uh, the mistake of reading too much into who he is. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, he's a guy who's making uh, uh, a decent amount of cash by mentioning a right wing grievance and then making a high pitched fart noise after it. Um, and you know, not a bad way to make a living. Um, you know, it's just too bad that it actually has to be videotaped and people see it. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the thing. I mean, he uh, I'm sure there's a lot of t uh, tumult in the right wing. They go, I don't know. Can we get someone, uh, you know, does a shorter fart bit and then goes into some. I mean, he, I don't see how, how effective this is, even on the right, really. Yeah. I mean, on that note, like how many it's been out for about a month. How many views would you expect that to have? Just guessing. Uh, I mean, 300,000. That's a, I, I would expect it more. It's a, it's not at a million yet. Um, oh. So right, I would expect. I, I, to me, it's always like, oh, 40 fart jokes, forty million people, and there's a right, Facebook exactly. groups forming over it. Yeah, but I mean, so he put it up on YouTube. What? Because there was no uh, streaming service that was gonna pick this jam up. Yeah, I mean, just to comparison, Stavros Helkius is a live stand up released also a month ago, two point nine million views. Oh. Yeah, he didn't do the. He's uh, he does a new uh, no fart material. I'm assuming mm. he doesn't make fart noises. I don't think. Giorno Giovanna, that so-called comedian in his echo chamber with his coke sweats, doesn't get that more people <laughs> would rather no one get sick and suffer from it. My cousin fell for the anti-vax, uh, anti-covax uh, 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 rhetoric despite working at a club and caught his fatal case of COVID, which orphaned his son. We lost my grandmother due to diabetes, but they both in life were of the thought that no one needing to get sick or die, and it's okay if people remained isolated. People like uh, Bobby here look more like the edgelord kid who thinks he's funny when he's an ass. Both died during the pandemic. Uh, folks are really complaining about the Brewer stuff, but fortunately, um, uh, Andy, I have made a commitment to you. And I, um, I want to give you a little bit of downtime before therapy, like two minutes, so that your therapist Absolutely. is not blown over. Did we um, uh, give you something to talk about with her? Yeah, well, I was already, it's like, they said they'd get me off at, at 10, but it's 10.56 now. And so what if I have to get something to eat before? I mean, I have to have some. Oh, yeah, so I was, right. I was already hey, Andy, oh. we love you. Thank you so much for coming on. We will see you uh, in the future, and we'll get an update on your therapy. I love you guys so much, and I and and I'll tell my therapist she'll be very happy you let me out. I don't know. Yes, all right, we'll see. <laughs> Have a great weekend, Andy Kindler, ladies and gentlemen. I love you, Andy Kindler dot com.